Ladies, the menstrual cycle can have a serious effect on your singing. Research estimates that at least one in three women will experience some form of vocal disturbance in their lead up to and during their period. 33%, that's a serious statistic that I think warrants further discussion. Sound check. Check one, check two. Hello everyone, my name is Dr Dan and I'm a contemporary singing voice specialist. It's my job to help you get the very best out of your singing voice, menstrual cycles. I know for many of you ladies, your monthly period isn't any fun at the best of times and for some of you it can be downright excruciating. Now unfortunately I can't do anything to alleviate your monthly appointment with nature but I can help those of you who notice a significant decline in the quality of your singing voice immediately prior and during menzies. In fact, some women will also note a change in their voice during ovulation. All told, the menstrual cycle can have a unique impact on the female voice for the equivalent of approximately seven days. Girls, I don't need to tell you how significant that is. That means that your voice might not be performing at its optimum for 25% of the month. Now, this can affect your gigs, your practice, and your singing lessons. I have some female students who feel comfortable enough to declare at the commencement of their lesson that they are currently at that time of the month, and we cater to the condition of the voice accordingly. So, besides the obvious, what's going on here? Why does the voice, for some women, experience premenstrual dysphonia? Sound check. Well, as you may have already guessed, your hormones are to blame. <laughs> I know, it's always those dastardly hormones. In this particular case, the main culprit is believed to be the sex hormone, oestrogen. Some studies have suggested that the higher levels of oestrogen observed just prior to ovulation and menzies cause a swelling of the vocal folds and surrounding laryngeal tissue. And believe it or not, this condition has a name, premenstrual voice syndrome, or PMVS for short. A good label never goes astray. Now, the main symptoms of premenstrual voice syndrome are a loss of vocal power, quicker onset of vocal fatigue, a reduction in singing range, and for some women, a raspier than usual voice. And furthermore, Dr. Robert Sadoloff in his uh, book, Vocal Health and Pedagogy, notes additional challenges presented by the menstrual cycle, writing, the premenstrual hormonal environment decreases gastric motility, exacerbating laryngopharyngeal reflux and abdominal bloating and cramps, impairing effective breath support. I had one student many years ago whose voice would reduce to less than an octave every month. And you can imagine the frustration she experienced considering she typically sang across three octaves. Interestingly, the performance industry has acknowledged and accepted PMVS as a very real concern for quite some time. Our classical female colleagues used to be released from performance commitments routinely. Commonly known as Grace Days, the singer was excused from singing in the lead up to and during the first few days of the menstrual cycle. I think we can take a leaf out of the history books. Ladies, you can't fight it, but you can learn to manage it. Now before I offer you some management strategies when dealing with PMVS, take a quick moment to hit the thumbs up button if you're learning something from today's video. Sound check. So what can we do? Well, not we, because clearly besides sporting a ponytail, I'm no woman. So what can you do if premenstrual voice syndrome is a suspected issue? Well, firstly, I want you to diarise the condition of your voice when correlated with your menstrual cycle. You'll need to do this over a three month period to observe and track any recurring patterns. It's easy enough to do, just allocate a number between one and 10 and with one being your poorest sense of voice and 10 being the best. If you observe no notable correlation, then good for you, you're in the clear. But if there is a significant variance in your sense of vocal condition, then you'll need to consider whether the variability of your vocal condition warrants the next step. And the next step, for those of you who do need to sing professionally or otherwise while experiencing premenstrual voice syndrome, is to visit your family doctor and discuss the use of oral contraceptive pills. For some women, the use of an oral contraceptive may help to alleviate the symptoms of PMVS. 
but you should understand that in some rare cases the pill has been shown to modify the singer's range so if you're going to take a contraceptive pill when you sing then I advise you to closely monitor your voice ensuring that you haven't fixed one problem only to create another again your family doctor is best placed to advise you further on any possible side effects from using oral contraceptives and be sure to discuss your vocal concerns in detail with them ladies at the end of it all if you suspect that your voice suffers as a result of your menstrual cycle then I encourage you to not fight your body by way of in further encouragement while the sensations of your PMVS are very real to you for the most part your audience cannot detect any change in the sounds you are making most of the changes caused by premenstrual voice syndrome are experienced only by the singer and not heard by the listener hopefully that offers some comfort as you seek to manage your PMVS okay we've heard enough from me a mere male on the subject over to you ladies do you suffer from PMVS and if so how have you learnt to manage those times in your cycle when your voice feels less than optimum leave your comments below I know the wider community of voice essentials especially the female contingent will gain from your experience and if this is your first time watching one of my videos good day I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial allow me to invite you over to the voice essentials channel for more videos like this one about singing performance and technique I hope you'll join our ever-growing community of like-minded singers from across the globe who just like you want to develop their voice and improve the sa uh, their sound. I'm Dr. Dan, sing well.